Hey everyone, Ryan here with SRG or S Reaper G, or if you hate both of those, this guy on YouTube, I found one of his videos somehow. I have just a short video for you today, hence why you're not seeing my incredibly handsome face, and is going to be about a small game that we all know of, known as Biomutant. What is next for it? And the developer for Biomutant Experiment 101 has teased that there's something coming for Biomutant sometime soon, or at least that's what they're hinting at here. They tweeted out, the first rule of what's next for Biomutant is, you do not talk about what's next for Biomutant. Now, what could this mean? Well, the reason this is going to be a brief video is because I honestly just don't know what it could mean, and you'd be hard pressed to find anyone else who does. They released a handful of updates after launch to fix issues and bugs and even fix the pace of the content in the game and the story, and we even talked about it here how the game has improved greatly past its launch with those updates. Now Experiment 101 did say that they would eventually have a current gen upgrade for the game after launch, and since then we haven't heard too much about that. So could this be that? I think so, maybe not, I'm not sure, or maybe it's an expansion of some sorts, but either way I digress. Now if you remember, Biomutant was pretty anticipated before launch and hyped up. I was one of those people that was hyped about it. All of my videos on this game prior to launch were mainly positive, and then it came out, and it wasn't bad, but it definitely was lacking in some areas, but it had a charm to it that I think was palatable. However, and I, this is not an original thought to myself, but I do agree with it, that it was a pretty ambitious project for a small team, and they were trying to do a lot of things at once, maybe too many things, and they mostly succeeded in some areas, but not so much in a lot of other areas. But the world was interesting in Biomutant. I could see and did see a lot of people who would love this game despite its flaws, and it had a lot of them, a lot of flaws that were in it, and it would develop a kind of cult following, which it has. It also did very well in spite of its less than stellar critical reception. Remember, Embracer Group confirming the success of the game in an earnings report. Embracer Group confirmed the success of Biomutant in the report. The main revenue driver in the quarter was the release of Biomutant from our internal studio, Experiment 101, the report states. So far, the game has sold more than 1 million copies. The full investment into development and marketing as well as the acquisition costs for Experiment 101 and the IP was recouped within a week after launch, added Embracer Group. Now, couple the success of the new IP with this tweet by Experiment 101, and it seems a no-brainer that they're going to either revisit this game with the current gen upgrade, or they're going to release an expansion or DLC for the game, or possibly both. I think both would be a welcome and exciting prospect for this game, and I even said I'd be happy to enjoy a sequel or an expansion of some kind that expanded the content of the game beyond what it already offered, and I think bundling a kind of expansion with a next gen update does get people who have already beaten the game and already have played it a reason to go back and play it again, or at least revisit this world that they've created. The main game itself, I think, is fine in Biomutant. It's not terrible, it's not great, but it's not bad either. And I think, honestly, Biomutant is a really good kind of zen game, if nothing else, to jump into if you just want to travel around the world a little bit, see some cool creatures, do some cool moves in combat, maybe. Maybe even just roam the planet, or planet, more like a world, of just various inhabitants and just talk to people but a lot of the content is kind of rinse and repeat, and I think that does kind of hurt the game a lot. It doesn't have the feel of being handcrafted in a sense because of that. I think new content that tells a new story or expands the main story of the game would be cool with that in mind, or introduces a new area to the world that would be awesome to explore, or even expands upon the clans in the game that you can join. Right now, you have several clans, I think there's six in the game, if I remember correctly, six clans, and while the three of them have different intentions than the other three, there's not really much differentiating them aside from their different weapon paths that you can follow. Now, that's just a lot of things that they could do there to kind of differentiate the clans, maybe add different storylines or quests that are a little bit different than what you got in the main game. Now, separate from that whole part of it, Experiment 101 also says that they're working on a new game. They tweeted out, working on our next game. It feels very much like an inspirational next game to us. Whether this is the sequel to Biomutant or a new IP entirely remains to be seen. But the main takeaway here is that Biomutant is getting something new sometime soon. 
and I, like you, eagerly await what it could be and what it might be. Biomutant, in my opinion, is an IP with enormous potential to continue to grow, and as long as the developer learns from the mistakes of the first game and expands upon the features and the gameplay mechanics in a sequel or expansions and whatnot, I think this IP could have a bright future. I generally do like the IP. I'm going to tell you it wasn't my favorite game last year, and I was quite disappointed overall with the product, but I was never disappointed in the sense that I didn't want to see more from this studio or more from this game because I think for a first effort, this is really really good overall. Anyway, in the meantime, I just wanted to bring to you this very short video about what is next for Biomutant. I know a lot of you came here because of Biomutant and I want to continue to just honor that you came here originally because of my coverage of Biomutant. And we're going to keep talking about Biomutant here as it remains relevant to the gaming discourse, or at least as I feel it remains relevant. So with that in mind, I hope you'll consider subscribing as I continue to track any developments of this game or a sequel or of the IP or anything going on with Experiment 101. And also make sure you like and dislike the video depending on how you feel about it. And of course, I'll talk to you all next time. And again, thanks for watching. It means a lot.